Okay, so today we're doing a taste test for pre-made tteokbokki. We're gonna start with the cheese tteokbokki first. There's cheese inside. Mm hmm It's really good. Mm. Definitely recommend adding mozzarella cheese on top to make it to give it more of a cheesier flavor. Mm hmm Because it came without it. Mm hmm So for this one, the cheese is actually in the rice cake. If you can see, I love the texture of the rice cake. Yeah, it's very chewy. Me likey. This cake. Also, this is actually not as spicy as I thought because the box did say that it was a spicy flavor. I think this would say average. Good for people who do want a mild a mild kick to it. I would not recommend for people who cannot take spicy. Mm. I would just say um, you can still eat this. Just add a little bit more water to dilute the spiciness. We're not going to single y'all out. We love y'all still. <laughs> Next one is the jajang. Basically, jajang in Korean is black bean sauce. A lot of people might know jajangmyeon, which is the black bean sauce um, noodles. noodles. They did say that this was supposed to be a spicy jajangmyeon flavor. It's good. Flavor. Is it spicy? Oh, now it does have a kick to it. Oh, it does. It does. So it comes later. Mm -hmm. And it's a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. Oh, really? I don't technically taste, every, like, get that kick of spiciness, but it is on the sweeter side, mm. definitely. The rice cake. Cheers. Mmm. Rice cake is mm. very, very soft, chewy. Just how I like it. Ooh, the fish cake is so saucy. I love it. I wish it had more of a flavor, like a jajang flavor. So dangs. The flavor is definitely more in the fish cake. Fish cake. Yeah. How would you rate this? I personally give it a seven. A seven? Mm hmm I love the sauciness. Mmm. And the flavor mm. in the fish cake. <laughs> in the fish cake. The rice cake, uh, it could be better. It's still good. Mm. I think I'd give it a seven as well. I wish it was more of a jajang mat, mat which is like taste in Korean. So if you want a little more flavorful, put less water than what they um, provide in the instructions. What about the cheese? This one? Um, I would say a solid eight and a half. A solid eight and a half because I do. I've never. I've actually never tried tteokbokki with cheese inside the, the oh, rice yeah. cake. That's new. And that was. Mm, I like it. Last but not least. Yes. This gotta one. Gotta try the OG. Yes. Eighty-eight tteokbokki. Yes. Let's go. Yeah. Definitely mm. the spiciest out of the three. Mm. This is my style. So if you really like spicy, you will like this. Mm -hmm. But if you don't, if you can't handle spice, this will not be for you. The texture of the uh, fish cake isn't as good in this one. Mm -hmm. Like, it has a stiff texture. The thok too, mm -hmm. it's a bit more, it's not as soft and chewy. But the flavor is there, it's spicy, and it tastes like the original tteokbokki. Mm -hmm. And you guys can't see our faces right now, but we're dying. I would give this an eight because I really like the kick. I hate that it lingers, but it makes me want to eat more. It does hit the spot like how I would want my tteokbokki to hit. Honestly though guys, for this being frozen pre-made tteokbokki, this is like a legit meal. Very simple, easy to make, make less in, in less than 10 minutes. I would recommend though, add some uh, fried, um, fried dumplings. <gasps> dumplings. Mm -hmm. That would be really good. Kimari. Or kimari. wrapped no um, noodles. Mm -hmm. Or you can make lakoki, add lemon to all of them. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That would be really good. Now, Thanks for tuning in. Now, bye. Now, bye. <laughs>